The Karate Kid 2010 cache of Karate The New Version is set in China and features a youngster learning Kung Fu, but it recycles the old title, which reflects the Japanese martial art Mr. Miyagi memorably taught back in 84. When Remix Dot Dare, Jaden Smith tries to explain the difference to his mom, to Raji P. Hansen, her response is essentially whatever for all the gorgeous shots of the Forbidden City and the Great Wall of China, the studio suits at Columbia Pictures apparently don't care where the movie is happening as long as they're cashing in on moviegoers' childhoods. Still, strict adherence to the classic underdog formula and a surprisingly serious performance from Jackie Chan give the Karate Kid a fighting chance. At 135 minutes, the remake takes far too long to get moving. But it eventually morphs into a stir and crowd pleaser. The plot essentially remains the same, only the names, ages and locales have been changed. Instead of Ralph Macchio's teenage Daniel San migrating from the East Coast to the West Coast for his single mom's new job, the new version follows 12-year-old Dre's mood from Detroit to Beijing when his single mom gets transferred. Reeling from culture shock, Dev takes comfort in his fast friendship with Mei Ying, Wen Win Han, the pretty violinist he meets at the park. But their relationship incurs the wrath of school bully Chen, Zen Wai Wang, and his band of thugs. When Dre's tormentors corner him in an alley, he gets help from an unexpected source, Mr. Han, Chan, the taciturn maintenance man at his apartment building. After besting the band of bullies with his martial arts prowess, Mr. Han reluctantly agrees to teach their kung fu. In the wax-on, wax-off spirit of the original, Mr. Han doesn't offer the kind of training Dare expects, directing him to remove, hang up and put on his jacket AD Nauzim. But through a long series of montages, the youngster grows strong in body, mind and spirit, just in time for the big tournament that will pit his skills against Cheng's and Mr. Han's peaceable philosophy against Chen's teacher's one-at-all-costs attitude. The normally playful Chan gives one of his strongest and most surprising performances, particularly in an emotionally resonant scene that reveals the reason for his character's reclusive ways. Unfortunately, Smith, who backed his dad in the pursuit of Happines and co-starred in the remake of The Day the Earth Stood Still, puts in an uneven star turn that proves he's not ready to carry a movie, even if his parents are the executive producers. Director Harold Ward, agent Cody Banks, also that has trouble maintaining his balance with a karate kid for every impressive fight sequence and scary bully scene that moves his remake forward, he falters a step up to with an over-the-top villain or a cheesy victory anthem. And in this 80s kid, Joe Esposito's You're the Best might be obnoxious, but a beat just in beat Brent Smith hip-hopping through Never Say Never.